What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today is December 30th, 2020. So one year ago today, I had 1,000 subscribers and we posted the 1,000 subscriber special. What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video and today we have the 1,000 subscriber special. It was a Legend of Blue Eyes Unlimited booster box, which at the time was worth, I think I paid $850. Now they're worth a lot more than that, but we opened that up. For the special, we had 1,000 subscribers. I figured it would be a lot of fun. Now we have almost 45,000. So what happened? What changed? How did we get to 45,000 in exactly one year? Pretty crazy, because I never imagined that would happen. I also want to show, at the end of last year, on that special, someone commented, I would probably hit 3,500 by the end of this year. And I remember at the time, I was thinking, wow, that would be really awesome to have 3,500 by the end of 2020. So we, we definitely got way past that, which was insane. I was not expecting it. But how did it happen? Oh, and the giveaway, I meant to put this in earlier, but we'll be giving away the Inferno Wing, Skyscraper, and a Blade Edge. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite moment from the channel in 2020. I'm gonna talk about how I think that this happened because it wasn't really in a plan for it to happen, but it did. In around September, 2019, I started posting like four or five, six times a week, so almost every day. And I decided I was just gonna post a lot of content and try to grow the channel. September through, I think March, we gained maybe like 800 subs, 1,000 subs. So we were doing okay. We weren't growing like we are now. So I was up to, in March, 1,600 subscribers, I think. I decided one day that I wanted to open a first edition Legend of Blue Eyes booster box. And there was a couple of reasons I wanted to do that. Number one, I just wanted to do it because I'd seen a lot of people do it and I was like, wow, this would be awesome. Especially if you pulled a Blue Eyes White Dragon, it would be a lot of fun. Definitely the thrill is there because it was a super expensive box at the time. Not anything close to what it is now, but it was still really expensive, especially for what I usually paid for stuff. So I asked around, I found a guy selling one and I offered him, I think 6,000, I offered him like 6,700. I think he countered with like 6,800. So it was like almost the exact same. It wasn't much more. And I was like, you know what? Let's do it. $6,800 was over double any Yu-Gi-Oh purchase I'd ever made at that point. I had previously bought five first edition booster boxes for $3,100 like or $200. And that was by far my biggest purchase before that. This was $6,800. So it was over double that. It was only one booster box. And I was a little, I was kind of freaking out because I told, I told my family and they were like, you spent $6,800 on a box? Yep. And <laughs> so I gave them all the reasoning, but they were like, I don't know about this. So Spent $6,800. I didn't have $6,800. I had to sell sealed Pokemon blue version, sealed Pokemon yellow version, ruby, silver. I think that was all of them. So all my sealed games, I sold all those. I sold a PSA 10 Ultimate Rare Elemental Hero Tempest, which for $1,700. Now it's worth way more than that. So and all those games I sold for way cheaper than what they're worth now. I sold three Exodia pieces, a two PSA 9 first edition limbs, and a PSA 8 Exodia head. Sold those for way cheaper than what they're worth now just so I could get the money for the $6,800 and not have to like, you know, dig out a loan or something. And that was like a huge deal because it was a lot of money. And so I, I put it into the box and I was thinking, okay, this is the best case scenario. We pull a blue eyes right dragon. We probably won't probably pull two limbs. You know, you guys know what happened now, you know, the craziness you guys will see probably a clip over this, but um, I didn't know that was going to happen. So I, I was like, well, I'm probably not going to make my money back. We're just going to do this and I'm going to try and post this on the channel to hopefully give my channel some sort of traction as well as the enjoyment of opening. So it was like a, a two, it was a win-win for me, even though it was probably going to be an L. So it was like an L, but I get it. it's a win-win, good for the channel. Hopefully, you know, I was hoping it would be. I bought it in January and I announced that I'd open it on the 18th anniversary in March. I held out for a long time. I posted that video. It originally got, I think like a thousand views in the first day, which was the most I'd ever had on a card opening video. I used to do Duel Links, by the way, guys, if you didn't know that. And I wasn't very big, but I did get several thousand views on a few videos. But when I moved to card openings, I would never hit a thousand views until that video. So I hit a thousand views on that video. And I was like, wow, this is pretty good. But then it just kind of died. And I was like, oh man, this kind of stinks. So I'm gonna show you guys the graph of what kind of happened with this video. So it had a thousand views and kind of grew by a couple hundred views for the first, like, I think I posted it on March 9th through March 15th, it had gained 600 more views. So it was at 1,644 views after six days. And I was like, things probably not gonna grow anymore. I might as well change the title and mentioned what happened in the video, which by the way, you guys saw it, the last pack of old Red Eyes Black Dragon. So before it had been something like Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition Booster Box opening. I was like, let's change it to include Red Eyes Pull at the end, which I know is a spoiler. A lot of you guys hate that, but 
when the, the video is no longer getting any views, I figured, how about I just put what it is so when people are searching Red Eyes first edition pull, they'll be able to find this video. So I changed it to that and I was like, yeah, okay, I didn't think about it at all anymore. It was actually like the middle of the night when I did that. I just I just thought, you know what, let's just change it to Red Eyes Pull. It's not really doing anything anymore. I was kind of disappointed. It's like 1,600 views is a lot for me, but I was hoping to get more because I spent $6,800, you know? Then a couple of days later, I think, I don't remember exactly when this was, I noticed I was like, where are all these comments coming from? They're all in the LOB video. Why do I have so many comments? So I went back and checked the video and the video was getting thousands of views per day. And for the next like 11 days, the video went from 1600 views to like 60,000, which as I mentioned before, I never had 1000 views on a video. So 1000 to 60,000 in 11 days, I was like, bruh, what is going on? The title change, it seems like re-entered it into the algorithm or something. And people were like watching this video like crazy. So it ended up going up to 60,000 in 11 days. And it eventually, I mean, it kept growing. I think now it has over 310,000 views now. Then the video pushed out a lot of my other videos and they kind of got a lot more views. And I ended up growing several thousand subscribers just from that video. So my subscriber count get, went way up and basically boosted the channel. So that LOB booster box that I invested $6,800 in, and originally I lost money because my red eyes got a nine and every super rare got a nine. I didn't get a secret rare. Only the Monster Reborn got a 10, and at the time, the Monster Reborn was worth like $750. It's worth more now, but at the time, it was only worth $750 in a PSA 10. So I had taken like, probably lost a few thousand dollars on that. I submitted all my comments, but they took months to get back. You guys saw that recently. They finally came back. But I lost a few thousand dollars on that purchase, but the video ended up doing so good that it actually changed the channel completely, which was totally worth the loss in my opinion. And then later... I actually did end up making my money back because the values went up and all my comments came back and stuff like that. So I actually did make my money back. Technically, I haven't sold all my hollows, so I haven't actually made my money back, but it was pretty cool. That LB video actually made a huge difference in my entire channel. So now we have almost 45,000 subscribers. We've opened a lot of crazy stuff. We've done other crazy stuff like that since then, like opening the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. We got just lucky to pull it, but we opened some crazy packs. That video did really well, helped gain a lot more subscribers. So basically the investments in the huge sealed stuff actually really paid off for me. And I think that the the dramatic effect of the LOB video not being able to scale and then end up pulling the red eyes in the last pack, which I was completely shocked. I was so nervous because I was like $6,800 about to lose all of it basically because I've only pulled one ultra rare. And then I pulled it and I was shocked. And even though the video quality is terrible, to be honest, like the audio sucks. My head is tiny. I don't know why I made my head so small. You can barely see it. It made such a huge difference in the channel because of the dramatic effect. All the money, the risk, I think is what made it enjoyable. People were like, oh my gosh, this guy's about to lose his hat on this video, you know? I just thought it was interesting how that one moment changed my channel from 1,000 subscribers to now we're at 45,000 and it's not like 45,000 is like, you know, the biggest channel ever, but it's still pretty awesome in my opinion. And I hope you guys have enjoyed all the videos we've been able to do. I hope we'll be able to do more epic videos and LOB, uh, be on the lookout. We maybe have to do another one, you know? Let me know if you guys think we should do that. That was pretty much the main thing I wanted to talk about for 2020. If you guys want me to talk about more things that happened in 2020, I'd be glad to do it. But that was like the beginning of this channel growing like crazy. And it, maybe we could highlight a few other things, but I think that's good for this video. And I wanted to kind of talk about it on the one year anniversary of hitting 1,000 subscribers. I thought that was pretty crazy that we are at 45,000 now, or almost. We're probably really close to 45 right now. Hit the subscribe button. Also want to mention, probably doing a live stream tomorrow. Maybe we'll make a run at 50,000 in one day. Is that even possible? Probably not, but we're going to be opening up some crazy stuff. Maybe do some giveaways. So I hope you guys are there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh. <laughs>